Thank you for having us. We've been around since 2006 with a focus on automating all the repetitive work on building out the classic data warehouse. Time Extender was, was born out of an ERP consulting company. Basically, the first pieces of, of technology we invented was to be able to reuse from one ERP customer to another because they were all on the same Dynamics AX platform and they were roughly all in the same industry. We are 100% focused on Microsoft SQL Server. So our data warehouse automation technology is, is all about making it much, much easier and way faster to implement uh, based on uh, the Microsoft SQL Server stack. And that is a strategic decision. We had two ways to go. You could go the multi-platform way. The moment you go cross-platform, you also limit to what you can automate. You limit to how much machine learning you can add to your solution, how much intelligence. By selecting only one platform, even that we accept that we also limit part of the market. But that market in itself is, from my perspective, large enough. It's been working out for us, right? We have more than 2,600 customers in 60 countries in, in the first 10 years. Everything is based on that you are building out in metadata. You basically don't have to write a single line of code. Right. I know that some of the questions we might get would be that, okay, so how, do we, how does that limit what you can do? Basically, there's no limitations uh, on what we can build based on the SQL Server. And if you're not happy with the code we generate or you have some very specific things that you believe that you can make a decision, that you can do it in a different way, you can basically do that and then we will cover that code as well. We need to be able to, to, to give IT a set of tools so that they can expose in a secure way, one place, all the corporate data to the business and say, okay, we control that you have the data and now business is on their own. We have not moved away from data warehouse automation, but we have seen that there is a, a very different use case of it. Uh, and we refer to that to the data discovery hub. And the data discovery hub is intended and designed in a way that IT can manage and keep all the data sources under their full control. No one will ever have to get access directly to the data source. But the, the whole idea is that you have this level, whatever we name it, uh, that holds all your data from all your systems in, a, in the raw form. Already here we fixed 70% of the battle that we have between business and IT. We haven't really made it super simple for the business user at this point. Uh, but we have made sure that business has one place, one data source to connect to. So by doing that, actually IT can now keep the governance, the security, the control, and they can get rid of the backlog. The next step we, we add is the modern data warehouse. The modern data warehouse is, is from a design perspective, is, is, is more loosely normalized. It's, it's more about having the data but now in a business-friendly way. That's the key difference why you should use a discovery hub and not preparation tool, a blending tool that goes between and goes directly on because with the hub you actually have the data stored. Because we know and you build in metadata, we know the entire flow of every single data. We have a fully automated documentation system you can put notes on everything, every little element, and then actually put it out there in, as, a, as a data catalog. It's, it's the entire combined solution, when we refer to it as, as the discovery hub, that for us is, is adding the, the, the most value, because when you, when you bring it into the modern data warehouse, when you bring that layer into the, into the, into the stack, what you also do is you suddenly open up to a whole set of new potential users within the business. I think the key to us is to help those vendors 
with, with what is actually their biggest pain right now in, in expanding further out within the enterprise.